Hi, I'm Sarah from AR Homes by Bluefield Builders. We're here at our beautiful Claremont model on Lake Norman. Very rainy day, but I'm here to show you how I make ginger scones. Mix this for about 10 seconds. I have five tablespoons of butter and I've kept it really cold. Scatter the butter pieces over the top. I cut them into tiny pieces. Can you see that? Whoops, I missed some. We pulse this for about 12 seconds. So your butter pieces should be no larger than little peas. Now mix in the ginger and this will only need about two seconds just to get it amalgamated in there. I'm going to tip this out into a bowl and mix it with a cup of cold cream. The key is to not over mix it because we want to keep everything cold so it stays flaky. Right, it will look a bit claggy at this stage, but that's fine. Sometimes people like to leave scone dough to just rest a bit, sort of gather itself. So you might leave it there for a few minutes. It needs to be rolled out to a diameter of about 8 inches, which is about what a cake tin is. Okay, if we were making tea time scones in England, we would use this little dough cutter so that they're little snacks. But we're going to make the American version, which we eat for breakfast. So that means I just cut it into 8. And I'm just going to eyeball it. It's pretty easy. Ungreased baking tray, but space them out far enough that as they expand a little bit, they're not going to run into each other. And pop them into the oven on the top rack for about 12 to 15 minutes. You won't want to leave these to cool, but you probably should wait for about 10 minutes before you eat them. 